Ah. <laughs> it looks like you've got a giant nipple on your back. Uh. What am I supposed to drink after you, they suck up all the, the humidity and the bad stuff in here? If they take away all my toxins, let me get my toxins back. So. <laughs> You're so fucked up. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Prozzy and today I wanted to bring you something new. You see, my boss at my work has been trying to encourage me to try new things despite the fact that I'm actually pretty low in openness to new experiences. I know I live abroad in a country across the world and that sounds a little stupid, but I'm actually not too excited to try new things. But today I thought I'd try to do just that. My boss is doing this for me, she's doing it for you. So I said, fine, I'll do whatever you want. Just choose something very Taiwanese, something that people here do often. And she said, okay, and told me to meet me in front of this like weird massage looking place. And this is how unorganized I am with my videos. I didn't even know what we were going to shoot. And when we got there, I was really confused. We're doing chiropractic today? Yeah, this is chiropractic, less hardcore. This is how well I plan out my videos. Okay, what do I do? Uh, luckily, I found out that we weren't actually doing anything chiropractic. We were actually doing the ancient Chinese art of Cupping, which you've probably seen in Hollywood movies like The Karate Kid. Now, I've never tried this. I don't know how like crazy this is or how exciting this is to other people. For me, I've never even thought about doing this. I've never wanted my body to experience this before, but the first steps are really weird. You obviously have to take your shirt off. And uh, then, you know, he has to lather you up with this I don't know what it is. It's like a tiger bomb, you know, the stuff that makes your skin kind of burny or almost like a freezing type thing. I can only really explain that. I think only my fellow Canadians will understand that or anyone who lives in like a colder place. You know when the air is so damn cold, it burns. Like why do you live in a place where the air burns you? It's so cold. It's freaking freezing in here, Mr. Bigglesworth. As soon as he's done lathering you up, he grabs a cup, which it's not a cup that I thought it was gonna be. It didn't look medical. It looked a lot like a drinking cup. It's like gambe. He said, he says, cause it's smooth on here, on the edges, so it doesn't hurt your back. It doesn't cut your back. Now, if you're a Westerner, you've never been here before, it's not look, gonna look like a drinking cup to you. But over here in Taiwan and a lot of parts of Asia, they don't drink beer or booze from a bottle or a can as often as we do in the West. Typically, you'll buy beer in these like really big bottles and they pour them into these tiny cups, and those tiny cups is what he was using for my massage. And the first thing he does is he lights it on fire, and he smacks it on your back, and he drags it down your skin. Oh. Okay, yeah, a little bit. It hurts or it burns? It hurts the more he sprays. And one thing you have to know about my fat ass body, because let's be honest, I haven't exactly been taking care of myself. Cheers. Is that my body, compared to say the average Asian person's body, gets really, really red under any kind of stress, whether it's too much sun or in this case, too much scraping. You're all right now. Jesus Christ. I got so red. I wasn't even red, I was purple. I couldn't see this obviously at the time, but I, I damn sure could feel it. So a lot of Taiwanese people, when they get headaches or back pains or just any kind of pain, they like to do a scraping massage, which feels really good to them. I think the idea behind it is that the scraping hurts so bad that your headache stops existing because you've hurt yourself even more and that's somehow relieving. And I've tried it and to be honest, it kind of works in a weird way. After that, it comes time to actually stick the cups on my body. And what I was scared of was it burning me, like, because he lights the cup on fire. Has he ever burned anyone before? Hey, nope, oh, you're safe. To my delight and surprise, it doesn't actually burn you. I think what he's doing is creating a pressure zone in the cup so that when he sticks it on your back, it makes a really satisfying, like, pop noise. You think? Ah, yeah. Oh, fuck. And then that, brings up your skin, it pulls your skin up, and actually if it's severe enough, your pores can actually burst full of blood because of the amount of force that's being pulled on your skin. Uh, it's kind of intense. It's gotta do this. It's gonna play us all the cups. 10 to 15. 
<laughs> you look like a reverse cow. You, you realize why when you go home and check the video. It actually feels like I'm being lifted up with a skin on my back. This, this relaxes people? It's supposed to. I mean, not during the process, but after. And to be honest, it feels like you're in some weird science experiment. I remember when I was like 13, my parents got me the original Xbox for Christmas. And when you turn that console on, there's like this intro, this green intro of like these pumping machines. I, I can't really remember what it was. And I felt like I was in that. It's the only way I can explain how it felt. It was really weird. Okay, Do it. Oh. Yes. Done. Right. Uh, this is pretty. This, this is so... the worst. Uh, <laughs> You'll have millions of nipples on your back. I can't explain to you how this feels. It's so weird. But is it still very painful or just when he was doing it? When uh, the cubs are on there, it shouldn't hurt as much. Yeah. It, well, it just feels like someone stuck hooks in my back <laughs> and they're hanging me up like a piece of meat. <laughs> in a butcher, like, bridge. <laughs> I told you you were like a piece of steak before. Reverse cow. No. Then, you know, like, taking them off <laughs> was so scary because there's so much pressure in that cup and there's so much pulling force on your skin. It feels like it could really hurt when it comes off and it wasn't that bad. They made fun of popping noises, I guess. But then Glory, my boss, decided that she wanted to help and that's when it, I realized that she probably wasn't there to actually help my channel and she was probably there actually because she just wanted to hurt me. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take, take out all these cups. What? You are? Yes. No, 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 no. Hey, no! This doesn't need any, this doesn't require any special... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it's Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. How you like oh, that? God, please tell me you're filming that. <laughs> this smells funny. It's so weird. I feel like you need to take one of these cups home no, as a souvenir. souvenir. Yes. Last one. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm trying. No. Oh. Sexy, really sexy. This is how you get women. <laughs> and then I thought we were finished, but in the confusion, I was told to lay back down. When I got put on my side, it brought me back to flashbacks of the massage I had in China, which is something I did not want to relive. Open your mouth. What? <laughs> cool. You skimmed your spank now. I was gonna give you a special treatment for free. Extra, <laughs> extra <laughs> free stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> that was like MMA. You're hai pa la. He said, don't be a pussy. I think you've done this, right? Is this real? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making a joke. <laughs> this isn't real. Uh, I'm relax. Relax. Whoa! Oh! What does that do? La bell. Stretch your back. Oh. It doesn't want melting up. It's on it. I, I heard it. You heard it? <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, my back is really warm. I can see this actually doing really well. Like if you have just finished working really hard physically, this is probably for you. I don't work physically very hard. <laughs> Show just... them your broken knuckle. Oh, my knuckle. He couldn't do this hand because if you look on this knuckle, it's normal. It's like one, two, three, four knuckles. But on this hand, it's one, two, and then I'm missing a knuckle on that finger. It's just gone. Yeah. What did you do? 
I uh, punched my last cameraman. <laughs> and I don't know how to fix it. My fingers are completely... <laughs> That's broken. how you get women. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Huh? Okay. But anyways, I think one thing this video taught me is that I gotta start taking care of my body again. I don't exactly live healthy, like I said. And I'm not exactly flexible, I'm not strong, I'm pretty stiff, I'm getting fat, I, you know, eat too much, trying to live my life. But watching this video really made me realize like, my body doesn't move in very many ways. <laughs> but anyways, I'd like to thank my boss, Glory, for making me going out and do all these things, which you can clearly tell I'm very enthusiastic about, and I can't wait to try again. Uh... And also to the boss, he's actually apparently really good and I, apparently I was spared a lot of pain because if he was the one doing all of those massages, apparently he's a lot more stronger and ruthless and merciless. Merciless? He doesn't have any mercy. Apparently he kicks the shit out of you when you're on that table. So if you're someone who just finished like sports or a long run, I just, yeah, I could recommend it. He's been doing it for a very long time. I think he's got experience and I could see how it's relaxing, uh, but anyways, that's it for me. Hit the subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. If you want to see me exploring these newer things that again is outside my comfort zone, but I'm trying my best to please you and the algorithm gods. And if you want to help me do that, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow me on Instagram at prozzy underscore SR, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.